Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today's video is our week eight slash two month update with homeschool. So um, week eight, right? Like I didn't realize how quickly things were going by. Um, so we've been doing this for two months now. Um, we officially started uh, about halfway through August. And so we are halfway through October now. Um, we have uh, basically continued with the same curriculum, no ma major curriculum changes, but we have changed up the pace of some of the things. Um, right now, with language arts, we got to a reading material that was a Shakespeare play, and we really just kind of slowed things down and spent more time on the language arts. So we're, we're slowing that down and spending a little bit more time with that, really going to dive into that a little bit more. Um, my husband was an English major, so there's a lot we can play um, into Shakespeare. And, um, and so we're just gonna, you know, enjoy that one a little bit more. Um, at the same time, we have sort of gone through the science bit a little bit faster. Um, we have finished dinosaurs and are covering other prehistoric um, animals and working our way up through the timeline. I think there's three more sections um, before we loop back into the regular year three curriculum with Blossom and Root. Both our language arts and our science are with Blossom and Root right now. Um, so we are going through those a little bit faster. We actually did a lot of stuff on dinosaurs in the spring when we had no curriculum and we're stuck at home and bored. So we found stuff online and did our own research. And um, so, you know, kind of rounding that out, making sure that we hit all of the highlights and we sort of put it into the geological time frame. Um, but moving through that one, um, because we did a lot on individual dinosaurs and um, and we love science. So the more science that um, the kid gets to cover, um, that's great, right? We don't have to go into super deep dive for every topic. Um, one of the other things I think I mentioned on a previous update was that we were informed that instead of having world language be one whole subject, um, it got looped into a social studies uh, subject. So we can actually include some of the other things that we were doing on our own as part of the grades um, as social studies. So our social studies now includes Spanish because we were learning Spanish um, and geography and cultural awareness. So Blossom and Root also has an optional geography culture um, a page. There's like one page um, per lesson and um, we do about one lesson per week or one topic per week so um it's uh not usually a whole lot it's usually you know like maybe a 30 minute amount of um lesson that we spend from that one so some of the other things that we have done is um looking at um, supplementing that uh cultural awareness and geography um, one of them is with Atlas crates. And so we've got a couple of Atlas crates that we haven't opened yet. Um, so we're going to work through those and also subscribed to Highlights Top Secret Adventures that has basically, it's like a puzzle book um, that you go through to solve the mystery in a different country. And as you go through it, you learn facts about that country. Um, and then one of the other books that we're going to be including is the religions book. Um, uh, ordered this online, but it's from a DK and uh, looking at some of the different religions and comparison. And then some of the other um, materials that I mentioned before, uh, Sankofa Club, um, from Urban Intellectuals and monthly they have um, worksheets on Black history, and now actually they've started doing daily videos. Um, we haven't checked out the videos yet, but we're going to incorporate those. So, um, 
And I'm going to be adding with the elections coming up in the US, we're gonna do a little mini unit on elections and US government. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing for our social studies. Outside of that, we're continuing to work on Spanish and we are going to be doing some Day of the Dead activities and reading um, as that date approaches so that we can um, learn about that holiday um, around the same time. And other than that, we've been keeping busy, um, moving through our lessons and um, and taking care of kittens. I think I mentioned that in an update. Um, we have foster kittens uh, that were born, I guess they're three weeks old now. And so they have just gotten to the age where they're starting to be playful and we're working on socializing them a bit more and um, taking care of them. And we've incorporated that into our homeschool. We have to weigh the kittens daily. So we weigh them and then we graph that data. We graph their weights and we track how they're growing. Um, and we also mark down like milestones and compare to where kittens should be as far as development goes. Goes. Um, and then we'll be working on some of those socialization skills, getting them used to being held and handled and getting them well socialized to be adoptable, probably in early December. Um, so that's really how things have been going. And, you know, we're just continuing along. Um, looking forward to the rest of the semester. I think we've kind of uh, hit our groove and we had to turn in grades here um, this week. So that was uh, nice to find some product samples of worksheets that we had done or for music lessons, sent in a, a scan of the music that she had playing, learned to play and a video clip of um, playing that music piece. So that's basically what we've been doing. Thanks for listening and hope you are trucking along with your homeschool as well. Bye.